Okay, we're at Schooner Ridge. Garage door definitely needs to get painted. I would say repaint the trim. The All of the wood work underneath the eaves looks fine. The major issue with the front is just some cleanup um, over here on the porchy area. Um, here is the side area. So there's some pavers that need sand. All the fencing in this house is in pretty good condition. My main issue is someone ran the cable. Instead of going up through the wall and stringing it through the ceiling, I don't know if you can see, ran it through this area outside the home. <sighs> Not really sure why they did that. But this house has sprinklage system. All the irrigation looks fine, um, front and backyard. And the landscaping just needs to get spruced up a little bit, a little jish, if you will. And there you go. Here's the front entrance. Pretty nice because you could almost turn this into a little courtyard area. Again, here you go with the cable wiring. Just so you know, major pet peeve. Here's an area where I wasn't sure if there might be section damage. The wood doesn't really look rotted, but that just doesn't seem like a good plan the way the builder did that. And I haven't really noticed that being an issue though on other plans like this that I've sold in this neighborhood, but I just noticed this particular one. Probably on a new light fixture. All the light fixtures in this house are polished brass. Alrighty. Again, the level, lovely cabling. I don't know if you guys can fix that or paint it or what have you. I just know that I would go postal if that was my house. Do -do -do. Someone um, nailed the trim in, so doesn't probably need to replace that little board right there. But otherwise, front door's in fabulous condition. Just need new hardware. Okay, here we go in the front of this house. This house is a four bedroom. Pretty popular. Um, kind of setup that they ha they built. You walk in, large window. Here is some marble tile, or marble-like tile, right here. And then there's a little door here with double French doors. Pretty nice. Polished brass, hardware throughout the home. And here we are. I'm gonna try to angle this. Woo -hoo, there you go. Just house is really dirty, and um, carpet and everything needs to get replaced in this house. All the doors are the flat panel ones, probably from the 90s, before the builders started using six panel standard, so the old builder standard door. I don't know. I would probably replace them all. I'm going to put it in my pricing to replace them um, and just see what you have to say. Okay. In here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to zoom in, but it won't let me do it very well. There's water stains up on here. And the way this is situated, it's impossible for me to see anything. Um, and there's some right here. I could be totally wrong, but it looks like they were probably climbing up in the attic trying to run the cabling. And so maybe somehow they drilled a hole on top of the roof and water's leaking in that way. I don't really know. Um, but that's the only place in the whole house I saw water damage on the ceiling. It's tile roof on the roof, so it should be fairly easy to fix. Sorry about that. Alrighty, here we are in the uh, living room, dining room combo, right again, right by the front door. Do, 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 do. See, front door. Do, do. Um, there's a crack on the fixed window. It's probably. I don't know, 4-3, 4 0 3 0, not really sure. But uh, there's a crack on that, so that'll definitely need to get replaced. All other windows are fine. The, uh, of course, um, doesn't look to be any mold issues or anything, but they'll all have to get vacuumed out and cleaned, probably. There's a little bit of settling around, a little bit of crack settling. So that probably just needs to get caulked. Um, alrighty. 
So back standard uh, builder carpet, probably from 95 when the house was built. So that needs to get replaced and I put that in my pricing. Here's a polished brass fixture, probably, I don't know, replace it, paint it. Going into here is the family room. Cute size little room, cute size little house. There is a um, fireplace tile, probably want to replace that. Here is um, some speaker wiring. Looks like they try to do some type of surround sound. Probably have to cap out the wiring there. See if you can see it. It's just little wiring coming through a hole. Uh, really nice ceiling fan though on this plan. So, there you go. Backyard view. Keep on going. Turning into the kitchen. Decent sized cabinetry space. The cabinets look in adequate condition. Probably just need to paint them. And I put in my pricing for new uh, paint and what have, what have you. I don't know if you're able to buy another cutting board. That looks like the, like kind of, it's in there, but I don't know if the cap of it fell off. FYI. Alrighty. Going back down, so now we're in the dining room area. Remember right over there through the front door. Here we go. Down in this fir first hall area is a Hall bathroom, again, the old builder standard doors. Uh, I put down flooring, cabinetry, they're in okay condition. I just put paint them, I'm sure that you can nail and fix this drawer. It looks like a little broke, but all the pieces are there. And over here, it looks like someone replaced the toilet and did not correctly put the wax seal or maybe the caulking around it. Um, anywho. But bathtub looks in good condition, and so does the ceram, just needs little elbow grease. Going out. Uh, mirror's in great condition. Big giant mirror. So, it's in good condition. Moving on. Through this way is the garage. And the garage is probably in the best condition of the whole house. Doo -doo -doo. Garage door. Um, I can't get plugged in, but all the mechanics look like it's there and everything and all the rails look like it wouldn't be a problem. Garage seems to be in adequate working order. Side garage door, which is nice. The um, garage has been taped. There you go. And um, water here looks in good condition. There's straps and seems functioning. Seems fine. Side garage door. Um, here looks like someone was crawling in the attic. So just need to repair that little area right there. Moving on. Laundry room. I look behind the washer and dryer. There doesn't appear to be any water damage back there. I don't know if you always upgrade the flooring in the laundry room, but I leave it. I left it out. Um, and cabinets just need to get painted. But decent sized little laundry room in here. Moving on into the second of the bedrooms we've been in. Again, decent condition. Just really dirty, elbow grease, closet doors are missing. Going on down, back going through to the family room, dining room combo area, down the hall. Uh, thermostat, probably 95-ish. Seems an okay condition in here. Some lovely blue carpeting. And um, looks like they use the old builder standard doors from that time the 